Hey guys, Paul here. I want to do a really quick video on um, how to embed a YouTube video on your blog uh, like you would Vimeo. So you, you remove the branding, you remove the links, you remove the related posts, you make it auto play, um, you can make it loop. So I've, I created a, a Vimeo video and somebody put, I'd like to use Vimeo for a private resource library on my blog. So I pay for Vimeo, it's about 150, 160 quid a year, but you can actually do it via um, YouTube quite easily. And you can keep growing your YouTube channel with it. So what I do is I go to vidiq.com, it's free Chrome plugin, um, more views, less time, vidiq.com, right? And then I sign up and I've, I've just signed up a free account. I actually pay for the account, but on the free version, I'm going to show you that it is free. So I have just signed up. So I wanted to make sure the free version did it. And next to each video, you get this vid uh, advanced embed. So usually what people would do is go to share, go to embed. And if you go to show more, there are a few options here. Show player controls, show video titles, show suggested videos. And you can turn them off. Um, enable privacy mode. Um, is, is to do with them not tracking your stats. Uh, so you could just do that and turn everything off. Or if you go here, you're gonna see a lot more um, options within this advanced embed in vidIQ. So you can change the preferred size, you can change the quality to as high as you like. You can make it play hey guys, Paul. straight away. I'm gonna turn that off because every time I do it, it's, um, it's gonna show. So what I'm gonna do is, do I want to show captions? Well, I haven't got any. Show play controls, I don't actually know what. Oh, that, that'll be um, the, the volume and stuff at the bottom, so leave that off. It's the disabled keyboard controls, which I don't understand what that is. Allow full screen, yes. Show annotations, I'm gonna turn that off. Loop video, so when it gets to the end of the video, start it again, sure. Hide, your, hide YouTube logo. Show related videos, no. Show video info, so I'm gonna turn that off at the top, that title and enable enhanced privacy so it's not gonna track. I'm gonna leave that off. So all I'm gonna do is grab that. I'm gonna go, so I've got a training training platform on Blue Jeans Media. So I'm gonna go down to this YouTube training. All free training, all those videos you just, all those training courses you just see. So then I've got these courses, I'm just gonna add a course. I'm gonna add a lesson. Um, I'll call it advanced. Advanced uh, embed vid. IQ.com, right? And then I'm gonna to go to the text section and drop in that code that code I've just copied and then view it. To be honest, the embed's too big. I'm gonna add it to my training course, YouTube for Business, and publish. So what that'll do when it does it is it embeds what we've just set just like Vimeo would. So if I view it, um, oh man, just a sec. It's a course where you've got to take each lesson at a time. Let me turn it off, hopefully it'll work. Uh, but obviously you can do this in, in any post, disable lesson progression. You can do this in any post that you, um, that you set up. So if it so it's it's ideal for landing pages, um, stuff like that. It, you know, if you're doing a sales page and you want to do a YouTube video that just shows that code, then you would do that. Sorry about this. I didn't realize that I had that set. Hopefully it'll. There you go. So now it's it's embedded. There's no title. There's no YouTube. I turned hey auto play off. So they still got the, still says YouTube here, which is what I would want it to turn off, which is, I suppose you could turn that off with player options. So let's see if we can turn that off. So if I go back here, uh, show player controls and turn that off, grab that again, edit this. Paste in that new code. We know it's going to show big. Come on. 
Place that in there even, then it'll show big. Upper datey. View lesson. And how, what did that turn off? Hey guys, so yeah, so it turned off the controls, demo. but now you can't change the volume. So, Pro, that's what I'm and this YouTube yeah. logo has turned back up. So, you can see you've got some control over it. Um, so hide YouTube logo it isn't doing. <laughs> Disable keyboard controls, show player controls. So, um, it's a cheaper way of doing it. It's not the perfect way of doing it. It's not an absolute transfer for um, Vimeo, which gives you a, a lot more embed options that you know you have control over. Obviously, YouTube still want you to come to YouTube, but what you what you're turning off is is hey guys Paul here. I'm gonna give you the a quick demo video the related the videos video. at the end so when you get to the end of the so, video uh, leave a comment let me know what you're going to use Vimeo for and it should loop uh, again so we have loop here. set have a great day Go yeah loop them. video Cheers. so then it should start again hey guys Paul so here. I'm gonna give you a quick demo you can control what you see so then obviously I can once I've done that I can go and um, edit the privacy on this video and make it unlisted so it doesn't show it doesn't show in um, uh, on YouTube so I could then make it just in my training course so obviously if somebody clicked here they could jump to YouTube and watch it but <clears throat> um, would you do that on every video would you would you would anybody be that bothered about jumping in and, and doing and, and clicking on that video and then if they're going to steal your videos, they could, in theory, click here and then download your video and and, um, and steal it. But this is a free option just to lock down your... Well, to be honest, it's, it's just a better way to share your videos on your, your blog without those related videos that may not be related to your blog, especially as you can't control the content of those. Um, my nephew's got a, got a video that's you know he's seven years old or he was seven years old and it was bouncing on a trampoline and he titled it bouncing and then obviously the related videos that came on the blog after that were all bouncing boobs so um so i hope that that were a bit of a sky it turned into i thought it would be better than that i hope it would be better than um than what it turned out to be but you can control what what's being shown via that vid iq embed you can do it by on the uh, on the YouTube hey guys, share as well, but vid embed gives you a few more options, um, size wise, style wise. You can start it at different times, and again, you can hide your logo, um, and any other stuff. So it's a cheaper way of doing what you do in uh, Vimeo. It's not a hundred percent as good, but it's a, it's a start for you. You make a leap to pay. Uh, if you're not ready to pay for Vimeo. So I hope that helped. Leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, see you all again soon. Cheers.